that bitch up, mate. <laughs> watching the hopeless romantic if you're new and if you're not you already know what it is so uh, oh my gosh oh i haven't been on here in a minute talking about this type of stuff but your girl she you know i just moved so i had to adjust like i've been missing home i've been missing my family and my friends so I just been trying to like get everything situated here with and with my new job and you know spending a little free time with a little a little vibe you know <laughs> but now that that's over we about to get back into what i actually am trying to do in life which is level up and just keep going like so this one video that you guys are stuck on yes i'm calling y'all out because y'all love to call me out y'all always dms comments everything y'all don't care so y'all are on my ass about this freaking the last sugar daddy video that i posted when we went shopping and out to eat and stuff and we had this little talk we had this little powwow or whatever. Y'all have been asking about that conversation. I didn't really get to post the whole thing because it would have been way too long. And that's kind of boring to me. <laughs> them long talks are so boring to me. But I know y'all like them. But um, y'all been asking them, like, what happened? Did you guys break it off? Like, what's going on with y'all? So, long story short, I stopped talking to him because I was done negotiating. It's like, I told you my terms. I told you what I wanted. And if you're not trying to do those things at the time that I say, then what are, what are we doing? What is this? What? Okay. <laughs> I thought I was just tripping, but yeah. So stop talking to him, all that stuff. I guess he thought, okay wealthy guys they will think in their head that um you're gonna you need them like they really want you to need them that would be their ideal scenario and if there is ideal for them because you'll really be at their beck and call and you'll be more willing to accept whatever that they want to give you but like I told you guys, you have to stick to your standards. And the only way you can stick to your standards and not budge and not feel like you need something from somebody is to have your shit together. Like I said, I've been like adjusting with my job, this apartment. Um, I still want to buy more stuff for it. And on top of that, I'm getting a car next week. And we finna, we're going to get into that too. I'm not even going to tell y'all about the car. I'm going to just surprise y'all. I'm going to have a little unveiling, a little pull the sheet off. It's going to be fun. But yeah, so my birthday was on Labor Day, which just passed. And he hit me up probably like three or four days before. And he was like, I remember I told you guys, what? I don't know. I probably didn't. I ain't been on here so long. I forgot. So he was sending me emails and stuff, like when he would go out of town and stuff or go on work trips or whatever. And he would like send me emails saying like, oh, this made me think of you. And it'll be like a video of some like statue or like some like touristy type things because I like the sightsee. So he like he's sending me stuff and I never respond because I'm just like, okay, you thinking of me? Are you thinking about what I see? The last thing I told you that I wanted, uh, like, how are you thinking of me? Exactly. So I never responded. So my birthday is coming up. And I was like, you know what? Why am I not? Why am I not taking this free? <laughs> this free stuff that I'm getting and 
This time is different. This time is different because when he texts me, well, when he emailed me, he said the same thing too. But when he texts me and I finally responded back this time, he said that, um, well, he was asking me if I wanted to be friends. He was like, can you, um, do you want to be friends? Like, I know you probably don't like talk to me or don't want to talk to me or you hate my guts, but can we be friends? It takes two people. Da -da -da -da. So I was like, usually I would just look at it and just be like, you're not saying the right things. <laughs> like, talk about what you feel. I'm just playing. I be try I'm trying not to be like that. But, um, yeah, so I'm just like, okay, let me text him back. My birthday coming up. That's the only reason I text this man back, y'all. I'm like, my birthday coming up. Why not get another gift, the extra gift or whatever. So I'm texting him back, all friendly and stuff. And he's just like, he sends me, well, he messages me that he sent me something on Cash App. And he was like, I sent you something on Cash App. Um, it wasn't about my birth. It wasn't for my birthday. But he was like, I sent you something on Cash App just to be nice. I still care about you a lot. And da da da. Um, it's just some money for you to eat for the next couple of days or whatever. Like, you know, I, I care about your well being. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay, cool. That was cute. That was cute. Okay. So like he's going in direction. I'm not saying that the first time he texts me and I text him back and now we're agreed to be friends now that he's supposed to like send me four thousand dollars. I'm not saying that. I'm not expecting that. I wasn't even really expecting him to send me the money on Cash App, so I'm like, okay, that's cute, it's sweet, and it's going the direction that I like, that we like. Like he's talking money like he knows that he's trying to get back in. He's trying to get back in good. But he also knows, like, one of the main reasons that we were talking, well, that I was talking to him. So he went ahead and did that. Cause he knows the type of sweet stuff that I like. Like, words are sweet, but <sighs> money is sweeter. Money and actions, whatever. So yeah, so that happened. I'm like, thank you, that was sweet, blah, blah, blah. So, like, every day we're texting a little bit more, a little bit more, and I'm sending, like, little cute selfies or whatever, and he's like, you're just so beautiful, I love that face. Then he's sending me pictures that I sent him long ass time ago. He's like, this is my favorite one of you. It just captures your sweetness and your essence. He's like, it's not the one with the attitude. This is the jazz I love. I'm like, Let's focus on the positives, not the negatives, please, when you're talking to me. <laughs> friend. Can we do that, friend? Okay. So my birthday came, and he sent me another cash app, and he sent me some more, you know, he sent me a little message or whatever. And I'm like, okay, cute. So we, like, joking. We he Y'all told y'all he liked to joke, so we joking back and forth. And he's like, oh, you getting old now, and, um. I need to uh, take all your money before you run out or something like that. I'm like, boy. I said, yeah, you better um, act fast because I'm about to blow it all on a car. So this is where I start to take it from, okay, like, you want to talk to me, I'm going to just take whatever he's giving me because I don't really care to deal with it. To now, the light switch came back on in my head, and I'm like, bitch what the fuck are you doing what have you been doing like this person is willing to give you all of this stuff and all you gotta do is show a little interest and the reason why i stopped you know like giving him him the attention that i was giving him before is because i was kind of stressed out like i just moved here then just got i had three jobs since i've been here no this is the fourth one the first no, I had three since I've been here. So the first two, I was like tired of sitting around because like I don't know anybody here. Like all my friends and family back home, like I'm talking to them on the phone all day. And I'm, that make me miss them even more. Like I hate that. So yeah, I had just went and got a job. Um, I was going, I worked there for a day. Like I had got a job at this Japanese steakhouse as a server. And I was like, I'm just going to be a cute little server, you know, make little tips like four hours three hours out the day or whatever i'm bored so and i wanted to meet people 
So I went there for a day. Like I didn't like I was it was burning my eyes, like all the smoke and stuff. So I had to go. I was like, I didn't come back. <laughs> so then I had got another job at a country club. I told y'all about that and I liked it, but mm, it was just something to do again. It was just something to do and so I can meet people and stuff like so after those two little bullshit jobs, I got my real job. And you know, all of that stuff, like all of it. And then I had to get an apartment here because I was in Airbnb at first. So I had to find an apartment. All this stuff was stressing me out. And I really like didn't have the mental capacity to be like how I normally am, just naturally. So that's why like my mindset my mind changed and went the way it went because i was stressed out and now now i'm in a position to not have to you know sway on what i want from somebody because i don't need anything from you like so the fact that I don't need anything, it makes him have to, like it makes him either, he's like, oh, okay, the mindset of someone who needs something, they're willing to take whatever, they're willing to do whatever, and it's just a whole different like ball game for the guy who's actually spoiling or, you know, helping her out, whatever he's doing. So with me i'm just like bro i don't need you i may want what you like provide in my life or whatever but it's not needed so it's not like i'm about to change anything up for you you don't want you want me around you want to spend time with me you want all this and that whatever that's what you want so you're gonna have to pay for what you want like and that's all it is so now that we're he's in the friend zone but he's a friend that gives me money everything is just great and so when i told him about the car he was joking 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 i was i'm about to blow all my money on this car or whatever so i ain't gonna have none left then i was waiting on the response like what he gonna say is he gonna talk about the car because i'm already getting it regardless like it's already in the works that car is mine so i'm not letting him know that i'm already i already have a car picked out i already know what i'm getting i already know when i'm getting it i haven't told him all that i just told him that that's what i'm about to do so he's just like okay you can use me as a sounding board financially um financially is all i really heard and cared about i'm gonna insert the text message or whatever but he was just saying Basically, he wants to help me out. He wants to be there for me. Basically, he want to be the same thing he was before. But I was acting. I was acting. You know, like a little a-hole. But yeah, y'all. So, stand on your standards. Because they will come back. If you hold yourself at a certain level and respect yourself, you know what you want. You know what you like and you know what you can offer somebody like vibe wise like you know we're gonna have a good time when we go out you know i'm gonna look good when we go out like you know all these things you're expecting all these things and you're expecting a good time when you're with me so so a smart man knows that you can't like find certain qualities in everybody like you can't no matter how much money you got you can't pay for personality. You can't pay for genuine, like somebody caring about you and stuff like that. You can't pay for those things. So they know that it's priceless. And they know that you know that it's priceless because you hold yourself at a certain standard and you don't budge on it. So they like, dang, she, she know her shit good. She know her, I ain't talking about it. nothing like that. But I'm like, yeah, she knows she's shit. Like, this bitch, she dangerous. She is trouble. But I want her to myself. 
so what do I have to do? What do I have to do? Because she ain't budging. She ain't moving. So let me go ahead and give in. Let me go ahead and give in. And that's how it happens. That is how it happens. So I want you girls to know. If you get distracted like I did, it's okay. As long as you're not going backwards. Like, I was just like at a standstill. But don't go backwards. Don't start like, you know, if you got a vibe, I call, <laughs> I'm so ratchet. I call guys that you just like chill with and hang out with and you know, you might mess around or whatever. I call them vibes. So you might have a little vibe or whatever, but if you start letting that vibe like change how you are and who you are then you're in trouble like and it's just gonna get worse and worse like your feelings involved we are still women we still have feelings so let's not act like we just gonna be like walk around see a guy mess with him and then be done with it like that's not that's not real life we talk about real life here so if you get distracted you got you a little vibe or whatever to pass the time you got to be able to i mean it's all about what you want i still wanted the same things for myself just because i was like at a standstill you know i'm adjusting i'm putting certain things on pause at the moment doesn't mean that i lost sight of the vision that i have for myself and my goals and stuff so yeah y'all y'all gotta stay strong don't beat yourself up too much like people think when they already like trickling off falling by the wayside like they just talk bad like negative like they don't you can't see the sunshine you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel all you see is the mess that you in the mess that you put yourself in so yeah, y'all be easy. Be safe out there. Be smart. Y'all need to y'all need to watch more of my videos. Um, I need to make more. Talk to yourself. I talk to myself in the mirror. Like when I'm getting ready, when I'm putting on my makeup, I'm doing my hair all the time. Like y'all see my mom how she talks in the mirror. Like that shit really affects the way you go on about life day to day and the things that you feel like you deserve and the things that you feel like you should have like that's a big effect that has a big effect on it so those little affirmations is some truth to that find you some that'll keep you grounded keep you focused and yeah run it back